Okay. Phew. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for waiting for this. We are so happy to have you. We appreciate your patience. Um, okay, so let's let's get started. So uh, thank you so much for joining our panel today. I love you, Japanese bathhouses, hot springs, and how to soak up the benefits at home. My name is Genevieve Savage. I am with the Japan Foundation Center for Global Partnership, New York. CGP was established in 1991 and is dedicated to strengthening the global US-Japan partnership by enhancing dialogue and interchange between Japanese and US citizens on a wide range of issues, thereby improving bilateral relations. To carry out its mission, CGP supports an array of institutions and individuals, including nonprofit organizations, universities, policymakers, scholars and educators through grant programs and self-initiated projects such as this one. Usually our events are in person, but since this event is online, we are encouraging dialogue in the chat box on the right side of the video, which I am so thankful everyone has found and is chiming in. It was really encouraging to see that as I was struggling to get this event up and running with, with the hiccup at the beginning. So I, I think everyone knows how to use it. Um, but in order to comment, you do need to have a YouTube account. So just wanted to make make that note. And also to please keep the comments kind. My colleague Mariko will be moderating. She also designed our poster for the event. Um, some of you have already done this, but please let us know where you're watching from and what your country's bath culture is like. We are really curious to know. And um, do you take a bath? Do you take baths? Um, you can also use the chat box to let us know if you have any questions and we'll try to hang on to those for the Q&A at the end of our two presentations that will be about 30 minutes each. So um, again, I'm so excited that you are here with us. We have received over 750 RSVPs, which I... Oh, wow, I could never have expected that. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining us and for spreading the word. We're so happy to, to share this with you today. Um, I wanted to say that we have RSVPs from at least 36 states in the U.S. and 17 countries besides the U.S. and Japan. And those include Canada, England, Scotland, Spain, France, Switzerland, Portugal, Germany, Netherlands, Malaysia, the Philippines, Thailand, Puerto Rico, Australia, Cuba, Brazil, and Argentina. So that was just such a, a fun surprise for me to see your registrations coming in. Um, this is truly, truly an international exchange event. So I appreciate everyone joining us and I'm happy to connect with you beyond borders. Um, just a quick note that we will ask you to fill out a questionnaire at the end of the event. So keep your eyes out for that. Um, and let's get started. Uh, I'm, again, I'm just oozing with excitement here to introduce our incredibly knowledgeable experts on bathhouses and hot springs. Um, our first guest is Stephanie Croy, born in the south of France and growing up with a keen interest in Japanese literature. Stephanie came to Japan in 2008 and she has been established in Japan since 2012. Now an author, photographer, lecturer, and journalist as a Sento specialist she was the first official Sento ambassador nominated by the Japan Association of Sento Culture and is deeply engaged in showing the charms of each Sento. She has published two books and her upcoming book will be published in France. So, Stephanie. 
And uh, next we will have Dr. Hayasaka, who's down here. And he is a physician, hot spring and bath medical researcher and professor at Tokyo City University. As a doctor of medicine, he has been conducting expansive medical research on bathing in hot springs for over 20 years. He makes regular appearances on television to report on the latest research about bathing methods. His most recent book is called The Best Bathing Method Invented by the Doctor Who Investigated Over 30,000 People for 20 Years. So, Dr. Hayasaka, thank you for joining nice us. Nice to meet you, everyone. Um, I have links to their Instagram and their website in the YouTube description below, so please take a look at those. Um, I would Lastly, I'd like to make a small shout out to our guests for volunteering to give their lectures in English. Typically, they give their lectures in Japanese. So I'd like to acknowledge the amount of work they put into creating this English version just for us. So it makes this event extra special. We appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get started. Good afternoon. First of all, I would like to thank everyone for being here today. It's very sad I can't meet you in real life, but I will do my best to talk about the amazing culture of the Sento, also known as Japanese bath houses. To start off, I would like to give you a few words to introduce myself. So, originally born in the south of France, I first moved to Japan in 2008 as an exchange student in Rikyo University based in Tokyo. I mainly study Japanese literature and sociology. And after spending a year in Japan, I went back to France to do my master's degrees and um, I was mainly uh, in the research uh, about Tanizaki Junichiro and authors that I particularly like. After having the opportunity to work in East Africa, namely the Republic of Djibouti, for two years, I moved to Japan again in 2012 after a Japanese company offered me a job. So I would like to introduce my story with Sento. The first time I experienced Sento was uh, during my exchange in 2008. At the time, I couldn't speak Japanese fluently, however, I went with a friend and the owner turned out to be very friendly and welcoming. You can see his face uh, on my slide. So it was uh, a sento um, at 10 minutes walk from the university and it's still there, hopefully. Uh, its name in, is Myohoyu. So at first, I was a bit shy to be naked in front of everyone, but after a couple of minutes, I realized nobody cares and it felt amazingly comfortable. I like it so much that I went back week after week during my stay. When I later returned to Japan in 2012, I started working for a Japanese company which turned out to be very hard. I was the only one foreigner in the company and even if I was fluent in the languages, yet the pressure of the first week made me wonder if I would be able to stay. You know, the business manners, uh, also different environment. And uh, at that moment, I remembered my previous experience at the Cento. And uh, after deciding to try it again, I instantly felt that was my place. Soon after, I realized that, surely by a stroke of luck, I had just moved next to the very first sento I ever visited. And uh, the first thing I, I did was to pay a visit to the owner, who, to my surprise, hadn't forgot about me, even after all these years. It made me so happy. So I ended up befriending the owner, as well as his family, and uh, through them, I got the chance to learn a lot about Sento culture and history and uh, the Sento-related work and all the 
back of the center you cannot uh, experience when you just um, go in the bathroom, you know. So I had now a daily routine where I would like to go to work and follow it up with a visit to the center, spending something like an hour in the bath and another two hours at the front desk chatting or having a drink with the owner and the other Sento goers. Usually in the Sento you have the front desk and in the same area you have a resting space. You can have some uh, sofa and the television and magazines and uh, various drinks so you can stay there as you want after the, the bath time. So little by li little it had become my second home. <laughs> As I quickly got more and more interesting in the central world, I started visiting different locations and noticed that each and every one of them was unique in its own way. Each sento told a different story, whether it was the story of the place or the family owning it. And the more my passion for Sento grew, the sadder I felt knowing that this practice was on the decline. I wondered, how could such a precious aspect of Japan be forgotten? From then on, whenever I visited a Sento, I decided to post about it on social media so I could introduce it to other people. And since I also wanted to reach readers outside of Japan, I shared the information in French, English and Japanese. And uh, after visiting um, hundreds of Sento, I kept falling in love with them again and again. In 2014, I even became a member of the Bath House Committee for the city of Tokyo. So the main purpose for this is to decide the price of the Sento of Tokyo. There is a unique price for all the Sento in Tokyo. So uh, you have the people from the city office of Tokyo and the people from the association of Sento. And uh, they discuss about the price they would like to have and the reality of the Sento. And, uh, and we are uh, five people to hear them and uh, decide uh, a good balance, keeping the price or up or down. So uh, we do that once a year and uh, I'm doing it now for six years. And the following year in 2015, I was elected the first ever uh, Cento ambassador. At that time, I was working in uh, marketing and PR uh, for a cosmetics company. Meanwhile, after work and on the weekends, I was a Sento journalist. <laughs> so you can find some of uh, my work at the time and uh, even now. Uh, I was and still doing Sento events for grown-up, for children, for students and for foreigners, but also for Japanese people inside Sento, outside Sento. I also am writing many articles about Sento and many television and uh, media, radio. So all I'm doing is just for spread my Sento love and uh, yeah, I will uh, let you know the charms of the Sento. I found a deeper meaning when working on Sento related contents than working um, in my company. So I eventually quit in 2016 to focus on introducing Sento and uh, the organization of the event. In 2017, I decided to compile my feelings about Sento by publishing my first book titled Sento wa Chisana Bijutsukan. I would uh, translate by Sento a Small Museum, in which I introduce 18 different uh, bus houses across Japan. So I'm also a Sento photographer. I have the enormous chance to be authorized to take picture in the Sento. Usually you don't have the right, you know, it's a private uh, place. So um, I'm really happy to share this wonderful uh, image with, with everybody. And uh, I hope that when you see the picture of Sento, you just want to, to go there. And the following year, I published my second book in Japanese, 
Um, it's more about a guide uh, of 50 Sento in Tokyo. And the purpose of this one was having some recommendation of Sento for beginners. So even if you never went in the Sento, you can check and go and uh, like easy access. It's also with my point of view of women. So when I'm in a sento, I will do some yoga stuff for this kinds of recommendation for uh, health and um, beauty routine. In fact, this year I will publish my first book in French about sento. So I'm very happy because uh, I don't think there is uh, some book about sento in, in Europe. So it will be the first one. So I explain all the culture and the history and uh, you have a uh, guide parts and uh, many pictures. So hopefully once a day I, want, I, I could do it in English. So then I would like to explain what is a cento. So a cento is a public bath house, most often run by a family with the customs passed down through generations. The word Sento first appeared in 1401. It is made up of two kanji. The first one, Sen, which referred to the money unit. And the second kanji, To, you can also read Yu, simply means hot water. So essentially, you had to pay one Sen to bathe. So it was uh, during Sengoku era. The price to enter a bath house in Tokyo then was around 200 yen, so about a bit more than one dollar, uh, whereas today it costs uh, 470, it's uh, approximately four US dollars. As a price of a visit uh, to the Sento, it is agreed upon by prefecture. For example, in Tokyo, as I said, you will pay 417, in Kyoto, uh, 413, and in Niigata, 420, so, for example. Sento flourished during uh, the Edo period, 1603 uh, to 1868. Uh, Edo people were apparently very careful regarding their body cleanliness and were also rather coquettish. You may have heard about the term uh, furoshiki or uh, traditional Japanese wrapping cloths, which are used to wrap up gifts or bento boxes, for example. Also, at that time, people used it to bring clean clothes and bath belonging inside. And now it's usual for the third or fourth generation of a family to run the bath house. Once I even visited a 200 years uh, old sento and it was run by the 10th generation of descendants. It's amazing. <laughs> I really love to take this kind of picture because you can see the person that running the sento. It's, it's the life of those people. Yeah, I like the smiles and uh, I think it's beautiful. And I would like to say a word regarding the water temperature. So historically, Tokyo has had the reputation to keep a high bath temperature. The reason being that uh, during the Edo era, many people would visit the Sento on a daily basis. Since there was no water filtration system, the bather had to add cold water to the hot bath to make it more bearable. In return, the water would overflow, filtering out some of it in the process. Another uh, possible explanation is that a very hot bath presented customers from staying in the bath too long so that others could enjoy it too. So as I said, at that time, I thought people were going a lot to Sento, like I think everybody was going. So if you stay too long, you, there is no uh, space for everybody. So these days, the average temperature is kept around 42 degrees. It's uh, around uh, 107.6 Fahrenheit. At first, some may need a moment to get accustomed, but after sucking for a bit, it becomes uh, quite pleasant. A few Sento use extremely hot water at around 46 degrees, like in the Edo period, but it's not common. And uh, on the other hand, uh, many other locations use lukewarm and uh, cold water as well. You can uh, find 
many uh, different temperatures sent to, so I'm sure you will find the one you like. Next, I would like to explain a question I've been often asked. It's the difference between sento and onsen. Onsen refers to thermal or mineral water, essentially a hot spring, whether it's volcanic or geothermal origin. Whereas sento refers to a public bathhouse. Since most of the sento drew water from deep ground below, in that sense, some sento can qualify as onsen too. It is said that almost everywhere in Japan an onsen can be found. If you visit a sento in a popular hot spring resort such as Oita or uh, Kagoshima in Kyushu, all the bath houses will be onsen. However, sento owners won't mix pure mineral water with tap water as to maintain the benefit to people's health and skin. You can find a very retro uh, bathhouse, it's wonderful. And the water is naturally this um, Coca-Cola color and uh, it was very nice, very soft for the skin. And in Tokyo also you can find around 45 on, of the onsen sento and many bath houses with uh, outdoor bathtub. Onsen water is not necessarily hot. In that case, it is called raisin or cold mineral spring. Next, I would like to introduce uh, different types of sento. There are uh, several types of sento to be found, uh, which I often sort into three unofficial categories. The first one is the old-fashioned sento, uh, a retro bath house that instantly brings about sweet and nostalgic feelings. Uh, the sento often seems to be stuck in time in a good way. You may often chance upon a beautiful murai depicting Mount Fuji or similar local views selected by the owner of previous generation. Old-fashioned sento are typically decorated with a multitude of artifacts, such uh, as antique air dryer, old posters, etc. It's like going to a museum, it sort of. I would personally like for the sento to be preserved forever as jewel of Japanese architecture. And then uh, the modernized sento. So they were generally renovated in the 80s or 90s and thus tend to display uh, them reminiscent of those decades such as uh, European landscaping or art that would have been extremely trendy then. <laughs> there you may find fancy or over-the-top design no one would expect to find in a Japanese past house. And the third category, so finally, the designer sento. The sento exhibit in an all-around contemporary design or sim that are commonly refurbished by an architect. While some may be European-inspired, others appear classy, elegant even, and characterize a modern Japanese aesthetic. The charms of sento. Although most Japanese homes have now fully equipped bathrooms, with a bath and shower, a visit to a sento is appealing in its own way. Since there are many aspects to sento that keep me wanting to explore, I like to group those into three main categories. The first one is health and beauty, and secondly, community, and then art and architecture. So first, health and beauty. Besides offering a place to wash the body, the sento is a place to feel rejuvenated for both the body and the mind. I will let Ayasaka Sensei explain in detail how it can be benefit for your health and beauty. Although, in my personal experience, I must admit that since embarking on this sento journey, I have been less prone to catching colds, and if I do, I tend to make a swift recovery. Keeping in mind the restoration of the body, adding a series of stretches in the bath or afterwards might help making the body more flexible and even improve the quality of sleep. As for the cleansing of mind, on top of the deep relaxation being at the center, 
is a moment to focus and care of your body without any outside distraction. No social media, no work, no text messages. It's like being in your own bubble. The calming sounds of water flowing, tiles resonating, bubbles flying, voices muted by the steam, all this makes for an ideal meditative state. On a bad working day or after an argument with my husband or any other negative feelings, a trip to the center would help lift this heavy through off my shoulders, make me feel lighter. For four years now, I also have been working at the front desk of the Cento twice a week, where I have observed these positive effects on other bath goers. So being the person welcoming customers, I can see firsthand how their complexion appears lighter, their skin brighter, and of course they greet me with a sincere smile upon leaving, like every time. On top of that, this traditional form of communal bathing has, in my opinion, a positive impact on the development of a healthy body image. Inside um, the center, most people keep a benevolent gaze upon others. There is no judgment, nor body comparison. And most of all, you will be among a diversity of real bodies. It feels like such a breath of fresh hair compared to the constant display of unrealistic bodies that can be seen in the media or uh, in social media. So you can see some picture I took uh, in the ladies' bathroom. I was bathing with the people and explained my project and uh, they were totally okay to, to, to be in the picture. Very good memories with each of them. Sento may not only help put aside one's insecurities, it may help accepting one's appearance, little by little. I believe this need for reassurance is very important, regardless of the people's age. For example, uh, a young woman visiting the Sento will be able to feel more comfortable in her own body as she realizes that the other women around her all have their own imperfections. And that's okay. Despite their unique bodies, they all belong. In the bath, there is no more place for shame. This young woman should feel accepted. And the more she repeats the experience, the faster she should be able to come to terms with her body image. For me, the Sento is a kind reminder that we all need to let go of the pressures that come with the perfection of the social media world. In brief, this comforting feeling not only comes from the bath, but from the people as well. Sento is an amazing uh, community where you feel at home. So let's talk about community. I believe the Sento is one of the best places here in Japan to meet the locals and share some valuable time with them. There are many ways to enjoy a visit at the Sento. Whether you're looking for human connection, most of my personal own uh, professional network around Japan is a result of me simply interacting with other uh, bath goers. Or maybe you would rather uh, silently connect with uh, the people surrounding you by enjoying a bit of space and quiet in the bath. In practice, especially for first goers, I, I would recommend a simple konnichiwa upon entering the room. It will attract friendly smiles and people will kindly help you if you seem lost. When visiting a new city in Japan, I always take advantage of the community aspect of a sento by asking regular customers or owners for some advices regarding interesting place and uh, like what to see around the place, what things to do, favorite restaurants in the area. There is no better guidebook or website than the information you can hear in the bath. The role of a sento is uh, crucial for neighborhood. Among the daily bathers, 
Many are living alone, others are elderly, but the customers will be eager to help a person in need of assistance. If a regular customer didn't show up one day, the rest will check in to make uh, sure they are all right. A friend of mine, a fourth generation center owner, will call his older or fragile customers during the hot summer days. He will also try his best to help people in need that may not know where to ask for help so he can provide them with a solution. The role of Cento goes beyond basic bathing services and I feel that this crucial function is often underestimated. I would like to use the expression Hadaka no tsukiai in Japanese. It literally means naked socialization, but translates as completely honest relationship. It reflects on the simple fact of sharing time with one other while naked. It means come as you are. As long as you show respect to others, especially the elderly, in here there is no social distinction, no poor, no rich, no boss versus employee. In the path, we all share the same value. For the last part of my talk about the charms of Sento, let me introduce another treasure of Sento, the art. Indeed, the Sento is a place to bathe, relax, share and also enjoy art. From the architecture of the building, through the potential garden, to the tiny ties leading into the bath, the Cento has a multitude of design and art aspects. You can find traditional Miyazukuli building, mainly in Kanto area, surrounding Tokyo. Miyazukuli are constructions built in the same way than temples and shrines are, with an old wood structure with high sailing, approximately 8 meters, that let the steam rise. The similarity between these different types of construction is related to a belief that grew after the Great Kanto earthquake in the 1920s. Temples and shrines being a symbol of peace and serenity, people threw that having the same symbolic construction will relieve the hearts of the visitor. Some of these buildings are even registered as cultural property of Japan. Uh, it's called Bunkazai in Japanese. And also, the interior of a center often hides wonderful pieces of art, such as paintings, tile art, or, or mosaic. As expected, the representation of Mount Fuji is very popular among the traditional center, also called Penkie. This Amazing rendition that only three painters in Japan continue to depict. They are respectively Kyoto Mariyama san, 85 years old, Mr. Mo Morio Nakajima san, 75 years old, and Mrs. Mizuki Tanaka san, 37 years old. The complexion of a full mural typically takes a day which needs to be scheduled on a closed day. Due to the humidity, in the centre, a mural has to be painted again every one to three years. Other than Moon Fuji, you can enjoy various sceneries, in particular depictions of the area. For instance, inside Okagoshima Sento, at the extreme south of Kyushu, you won't find Mount Fuji but Sakurajima, the region's notorious volcano. In Niigata, I have seen beautiful mosaics inspired by the traditional dance of Sado Islands. Exploring Sento across Japan is also a way to spice up any trip by discovering new places. In other Sento, you may find replicas of famous paintings from artists, typically covering the tiles. Somewhere else, you may appreciate sceneries from overseas, each Sento interior, has a different story to tell. You will always be surprised. So I would like to close my talk by talking a bit about the Sento nowadays. Sento numbers have been critically decreasing since the end of the 60s. 
With each stento disappearing, a national treasure is lost. It's the end of a story. The end of years of daily relationships. The primary reason for this decline is that the stento's hygiene purpose became obsolete since most modern homes have fully functional bathrooms. The good news is Sento now has a new lifestyle function. Over the past few years, thanks to various events and media intervention on the Sento topic, people have uh, rediscovered the existence of public bathhouses, and I often meet newcomers that decided to give the bath community a try. On top of that, I see more and more family enjoying Sento together and I truly think that it plays a role in having good manners and education and not just for children, but adults as well. There is such a thing as a Sento etiquette that isn't meant to be strict, but to remind people of some cultural common sense and the art of compromise among bosses. I personally think that it is a good way to spend quality time together without any distraction. More recently, last four or five years, young people are considering working at the Cento and sometimes even becoming a Cento owner to keep the history of bus houses alive. And thanks to them and all the people supporting the Cento, the future looks brighter. Sento culture is decreasing, but certainly not dying. And I really hope that all of you will get to try it out one day and bath in one of them. Sento is a wonderful part of the cultural heritage in Japan, which deserves to be known worldwide. And I will continue to do my best to share the beauty of every Sento. So if you have uh, some interest to see more, Almost every day I introduce uh, Sento in Instagram. So thank you very much for your attention and don't hesitate if you have uh, more questions. Thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. You're welcome. <laughs> it feels a little bit torturous to see all the picture of Sento and not be able to go visit. Uh, so. Soon, I hope. <laughs> yeah, I hope so too. Um, thank you for, for sharing all your photos with us. Thank you and thanks to everybody for all the nice comments. I was happy to read it. <laughs> Me too. So um, we have a question for you that I think you saw at the tail end of the video. We'd like to know if you have ever visited a Sento. So please let us know. And if you remember where and the name of it, we'd like to know. Hello, everyone. My name is Shinya Hayasaka. Thank you for giving me opportunity to speak at this event. Today, I'd like to give a lecture on Beijing Japanese hot spring and in the Japanese homes. I will also demonstrate how to practice this bathing habit at home. And maybe you will be inspired to try tonight. First, let me introduce myself. 20 years of working as a general physician made me realize the importance of habitual bathing and how it affected our health. There was rarely any research done on habitual bathing at that time. I investigated over 30,000 Japanese people for 20 years on how they bathed and how bathing related to their health. I currently research at Tokyo City University. From my research, I have found out that habitual bathing has various positive effects on our health. I also found the most effective and corrective bathing method. Based on my results, I started appearing on TV more often to explain the correct bathing method for Japanese viewers. I also published some books. My recent books published by Daiwa Shobo is called The Best Bathing Method, invented by a doctor who investigated over 30,000 people for 20 years. 
I will start of the lecture by going over the history of hot springs, known as onsen, and also history of Beijing. Because Japan lies along a volcanic zone, it has many onsen. The country itself and all the uh, prefecture have onsen. There are about 27,000 onsen sources in Japan and about uh, 1,100 in the U.S. Japanese people have had a close relationship with onsen for a long time and here is why. The oldest and first history books to describe onsen in Japanese history was called Kojiki, written in 712 AD. The book mentioned the Dogo Onsen. Nihon Shoki was another history book written 1,300 years ago that mentioned the Emperor of Japan in 639 AD based in Arima Onsen. Although there is no record, trace of hot springs used from 6,000 years ago were discovered in Nagano Prefecture. There is also myth that the Dogo Onsen was discovered by Heron uh, and another animal such as a crying deer and bear discovered another onsen. This is a photo of Arima Onsen, one of the oldest Japan that has 1,000 years of history. Arima Onsen is close to Kobe port and it is popular for tourists. One of the characteristics for onsen is hot water being red due to the level of iron. The salt component uh, is that uh, water is very rich and makes the body warm up. Here is a hot of Dogo Onsen located in uh, Ehime Prefecture. This is uh, also one of the oldest onsen in Japan. And there is still traditional buildings surrounding the onsen and tourists can enter inside after paying the entrance fee. The history of onsen are deeply connected with the samurai warriors. 16th century Japan was said to be in a war state that remained unstable and when many warriors fought each other for unity. Uh, onsen were primarily used by injured warriors to heal their wounds from battles and since many were injured, they control their own onsen. This is a picture of Shingen Takeda, one of the most famous military commander in Japan. The main ruler of uh, the Yamanashi prefecture, also known as the center of Japan. He used Mastomi Onsen to heal his wound and keep this onsen hidden from other warriors. This onsen contains salt and radium which has the effect of relieving pain. This is why onsen that contain salt and radium were heavy used by injured samurai warriors. This last picture is uh, Ieyasu Tokugawa, another famous military commander who ruled uh, the whole country and built Edo, known today as Tokyo. Atami Onsen located on the west side of Tokyo was the favorite onsen. Uh, there is a saying that the general of the Tokugawa family who ruled Edo uh, carried hot spring water all the way to Edo for medical treatment. To this day, many tourists visit the Atami Onsen and there is even a foot bus named Ieyasu in front of Atami Station. This is a photo of a foot bus. These were a way in which Onsen share deep connection with samurai warriors. Next, I will explain the use of hot spring in Japan. Japanese people uh, love hot springs and there are about 3,000 hot springs districts around Japan. There is even one in the middle of the city close to Haneda Airport in Tokyo. Japanese people go to hot spring very often and data show the number of total stay at the hot spring resort per year is about 120 million. This number is almost the same number as the total population of Japan. In other words, Japanese people go to hot springs at least once a year. Hot springs that do not accompany lodging is not counted 
in this number, but you can still see how much the Japanese love hot springs. According to my research, in winter, 33.7% go to onsen more than once a month. Also, the number one uh, vacation spot for Japanese people has a hot springs resort, and this was 49.8%. Uh, as you can see, onsen play a huge role in the life of the uh, Japanese. This is Hasunuma Onsen in Kamata near the Haneda Airport. The hot water is brown because it contains a plant ingredient. This is a very beautiful hot spring facility. Since this is open the public, you only have to pay about four dollars. I sometimes go here too. Now, I'll talk about the history of uh, bathing in Japanese household. As I mentioned before, hot springs exist in Japan for many years, and back when uh, there were no water heater, it was a daunting task to boil a large amount of water to fill up the bathtub. Water is very heavy and boiling. The water requires a large amount of fuel. It also takes a lot of time and money. However, it was very easy to fill bathtubs with hot water at a hot springs district, since hot water was easy accessible. During 17th century in Edo period, going on a hot spring trip was considered one of the best leisure activities for the public, and soon after public baths started to appear in the city. When the public baths were first built in Edo period, the bathtub contained only a small amount of hot water about the ankle height, and it was more like a steam bath. Over time, the public baths filled their tubs with more hot water. Only the wealthy had bath tubs, and those who did not use public baths. After World War II, Japanese households began having bathroom with bathtub. As of 2008, 95.5% of all households say they had bathroom. While some Japanese bathroom may only have bathtub, there are no Japanese bathroom with only shower. This is a standard Japanese bathroom in house. Where the bathtub is separate from the toilet. I will explain later in detail on how Japanese people use their bathtub. In Japan, bathtub is called ofuro. Bathing uh, does not necessarily mean just taking a shower. It also refers to soaking ourselves in the bathtub. There are about 70 or 80 percent of Japanese people who bath in bathtub. Uh, there are the meaning of bathing seems to be different uh, in Japan than in Western country. Bathing bathtub common, uh, especially in homes with small children, about 19% say that use a bathtub to bath every day. Not only to do Japanese love hot springs, but over 90% answer they love to bath in their home. In Western country, only 10% use bathtubs to bath. As far as I know, Japan is the only country where bathing is considered a part of their lifestyle. From the medical perspective, uh, here are the benefits of our flow. Besides the fact that it keeps our body clean, it also relieves pain, helps treat skin condition, increase flexibility, reduce anxiety, and help us with a better sleeping habit. These benefits have been shown through many medical studies. This is what we know about Ofro based on recent medical research. The results from our 2014 studies say people experienced more happiness when they bathed every day. Similarly, people who bathed every day had a high sense of subjective health, which has related to better sleeping habit. 
In 2018, we also found that bathing helps reduce the risk of physical disability for seniors and reduce the need for care by 13%. We are able to get a result from tracking nearly uh, 14,000 seniors uh, over three years. A recent study that investigated about 13,000 Japanese for 20 years found out people who take a bus every day had 30% lower risk of heart attack or stroke than those who did not. This result means Bathing is important as another lifestyle like appropriate exercise, nutrition, sleep, and smoking assessment. As many countries do not yet have a bathing habit, Japan is unique in conducting these studies. So why does Ofro have good medical effect? I'll discuss the summer effect buoyancy, hydrostatic pressure cleaning effect of cleaning every corner of the body, and psychological effect of feeling liberated by being alone and naked. The first three effects are obtained only by off-road band and not by shower. First, let me discuss the thermal effect. This is the most important role of bathing because when the body warm up from the hot water, the blood vessel dilate and when this happens, it increases the blood flow. When your body turns red after your bath, it is because your blood vessels are dilated. When there is an increase in blood flow, essential cell nutrition and oxygen are more easily supplied throughout the whole body and unnecessary wasted product and carbon dioxide are more easily emitted. The increase in blood flow also cure feeling of fatigue after your bath. So please keep in mind uh, temperature of water is very important because this heavily affects the automatic nerves, the sympathetic and parasympathetic. Sympathetic nerves activate when you are excited and nervous. This leads to rise in blood pressure and the heart to pound. Parasympathetic nerve, on the other hand, uh, activated to help us relax. When these nerves become active, tension is released. Many Japanese studies show that parasympathetic nerves work stronger in warm water, that is above body temperature and below 40 degrees Celsius, uh, 104 uh, degrees. The sympathetic nerves uh, works when the temperature is 42 degrees Celsius. Uh, it is uh, 107 Fahrenheit or higher. Westerners uh, prefer a low temperature than the Japanese, so it will be better to low the temperature by 2 or 3 degrees. 38 degrees or uh, 100 degrees is a recommended temperature to experience relaxation. There are another way to thermal effect to work on our body. For example, when the body warm up, it uh, suppresses the nerve hypersensitivity and relieves chronic pain in the lower back and knees. Joint flexibility will also increase. I find this effect important for older people. I recommend bathing in a bathtub for those who feel chronic pain in lower back and knees. Other than our bodies, the thermal effect has a positive effect on our sleep too. When we bath, our body temperature rises, but then rapidly fall. The best time to go sleep is when the body temperature drops. Research show about 90 minutes after bathing is best. Our study show warming up our body even without bathing uh, before going to bed lead to good night's sleep. Bathing in low warm water 90 minutes before going to bed stimulates the parasympathetic nerve and this also lead to a good sleep. Our bodies are less likely to warm up just by a shower 
So this may be uh, the reason why we are not uh, getting enough good sleep. When you have a chance, please try bathing in the temperature of 38 to 40 degrees uh, 100 uh, or 104 degrees and uh, 19 minutes uh, before going to bed. It really works. Uh, moving on, the next is uh, uh, effect of buoyancy. Mm, this effect helps reduce the stress and cannot be obtained with just a shower. Our body floats when you soak up to your shoulder, and the body weight becomes about one tenth. If you weigh 60 kg, the weight reduced to 6 kg. In the bathtubs, you don't have to support your body's weight, so this helps you muscle rest. Uh, personally, bathing inside the bathtub feels almost like zero gravity and is closest to the feeling of space on the earth, since our body are weightless. The next is the hydrostatic effect. Along with the other two effects, uh, this cannot be effective unless in the bathtubs. The pressure of water still compresses the body even when the uh, bathtub is small. The pressure is strongly applied, especially in extremities such as the toes. Pressure from water ties the body and helps the body flow return to the heart. Our legs will often swell if you sit in a chair for a long time. Uh, but if you soak in your legs in a bathtub, the blood flow will improve and will reduce swelling. The effect cannot be obtained in just taking a shower. Lastly, bathing has a psychological effect of a feeling liberated by being alone and naked. This releases tension. It is indeed a place to clean our body, but the Japanese use the bathtub as a special place for relaxing and the end of the tiring day. So what exactly is the difference between the hot springs and home baths? Hot springs have several advantages over home bathing. For example, hot springs contain many minerals like sodium, calcium, magnesium, chlorine. There are about 1,000 mg of mineral per 1 kg of hot spring water. It's hard to tell whether this number is too much or too little minerals, so let me explain further to give you a better idea. Uh, try to imagine a uh, minimum of uh, 200 uh, grams of bath salt in your bathtub. Uh, typical bathtub fill up about 200 liter of water. This is a considerable amount of mineral, uh, very, very huge. Uh, mineral attached to our skin to maintain body warmth and enhance uh, moisturization. Many studies find hot springs to have a higher thermal effect than home bathing and stronger effect on improving blood flow and fatigue. Hot springs also have a stronger ability to remove dirt and old skin cells for smoother looking skin. Plus a large bathroom space or hot springs with beautiful scenery will lead you relaxation. If you add a bath salt into your bathtubs at home, I bet you will experience a similar effect of hot springs. This is a Kobe Minato Senren, a hot springs inn. Japanese love these open air hot springs called Rotenburo. Beautiful view of the night sky helps with relaxation. Japanese people especially love Rotenburo Onsen. This is the Yokosuka Onsen near Tokyo Bay. It takes about one hour by train from Tokyo City. You can get a front view of the ocean while being inside the open air hot spring rotten below. You can also feel the fresh breeze while you relax. Now I will explain the step on how the Japanese people based at home. First, this device number one controls the water heater by 
pressing bottom. Uh, it automatically fill up a bathtub with hot water. You can set the temperature and once it finished filling up a bathtub with hot water, there will be voice that say, bathtub is ready and keep uh, the temperature steady. Almost all Japanese bathrooms are equipped with this device. The Japanese are very particular to bath. What is it like in your country? After bathtub is filled with uh, water, first wash your body with soap in washing area. Number two. Next bathtub, uh, not inside. And then use number three faucet or number four shower is wash your body. You should never put soap in the bathtub. Oftentimes, I hear tourists uh, accidentally put soap in bathtub. So, when you come to Japan, please be careful not to do this. Once you finish washing your body, then you can enter inside the bathtub number five. Make sure you have wash off all the soap before entering. Enter so that the water touched up to your shoulder. Then stay in a bathtub for 10 or 15 minutes in the 40 or 42 degrees, uh, 104 or 107 degrees water temperature. Do not drain the hot water in bathtub after you enter. This is because in Japan, usually the whole family use the same hot water in the bathtub and since they wash their body before entering the bathtub, the hot water do not get dirty. Most western style bathrooms only have a toilet and do not have a washing area. Let me demonstrate it, how you can experience a Japanese way of bathing at home or flow. First, fill up the bathtub with a 38 or 40 degrees. Uh, 100 or 104 degrees hot water. Do not put any soap inside the bathtub. It should only be hot water. Without using a soap, soak your whole body in the bathtub up to your shoulder. Soak for about 10 minutes. If you want to relax more, you can close your eye and practice mindfulness. Your body will start to feel hot and may start to sweat, but this means that your blood flow is improving. Then you can wash your body with soap as usual inside the bathtub. The key characteristic of Japanese style bath is relaxation and not focusing on washing the body. Mindfulness is a basic method I named. For Japanese people, taking a bath is not only place to wash your body, but also place to relax and relax. Many Japanese come home from work and take a bath before or after dinner. It's also preparation to sleep well. To further relax and calm your mind, I recommended mindfulness, which combines the word mindfulness and ofuro. To practice mindfulness while taking a bath, uh, close your eye and take slow abdominal breath like you would in Zazen. Inhale through your nose for 3 seconds and exhale for 5 or 6 seconds. Repeat this 10 times and try to keep your mind empty as possible. Doing this method will help relax and cleanse your whole body. Let's try off road tonight. It will be very easy. Remember, pour hot water into a bathtub and soak up to your shoulder for 10 minutes. 38 or 40 degrees, 100 or 104 degrees, hot water is recommended. Another thing is to drink one or two cups of water before bathing because you will sweat. According to one study, 800 ml of sweat is released just from bathing. In the bathtub, take time to close your eye and relax. 
Another thing you can add to your bathing experience is essential oil. You can use an aroma diffuser or even add few drops of essential oil into the wash basin, uh, bringing your favorite drink and listening to your favorite music will also be plus. But don't use your phone as uh, this can interfere with relaxing nerves. Once you get out uh, of bathtub, quick wipe your body and drink another cup of water. Then go to bed after 90 minutes. You can take shower in the morning as usual. See it, very easy. To wrap up my lecture, I would say that bathing overall is a wonderful method, mentally and physically, that Japan is proud of share. Onsen enhances the health effect of home bathing. And medical research shows there are many health benefits to home bathing, including prevention of stroke and heart attacks, as well as extending life expectancy. As for uh, mental health benefit, bathing reduces anxiety and enhances relaxation. Bathing is a method and culture that can easily be practiced by anyone. And I hope more people all over the world experience bathing. It will keep you strong and healthy. That's it. And thank you for listening. Thank you so much for your presentation. Every I've watched it a couple of times now, and every time I just I love it. I I feel like I'm learning so much every time. Um, the history, the science, the method of bathing, and I have to say, the first time I watched it, I ran to my bathroom and I scrubbed the bathtub so that I could take a bath the same day. So. I'm sure everyone watching feels the same way. Okay, so let's get started with the Q&A. Um, I want to say thank you again to everyone who submitted a question with the RSVP. We received over 150 questions. So I hope that some of them were answered in the talk. ある程度はあのプレゼン中にも答えてもらいましたと思いますけど。マリさん、少し進めたらいかがでしょうか。そうですよね。じゃあ、until um, we get Japan Foundation back, I do have a list of some of the questions both collected beforehand and during the talk and um, so I'm going to start with some of them in the hopes that CGP can get on. Um, just to briefly introduce myself, my name is Mari Morimoto. Uh, I know some of you on the uh, YouTube, but I am a event interpreter uh, tonight. So let's see, uh, we will start with a very common question and there are several variations. Could you both please talk about the regional differences of Sento and Onsen across Japan? Are there any unique ones that stand out to you? Please also let us know how many you've been to. あの、一番最初の質問なんですけど、何県の温泉または銭湯を経験されましたでしょうかじゃあ、早坂先生からどうぞ。Ah, yes. Uh, I have been to public bus in Tokyo uh, only on the 20 or 30. Uh, however, I have, uh, have done more than uh, 300 uh, public hot springs facility over than Sento, uh, but I have not uh, count, uh, counted correctly. Uh, there is a difference between um, uh, area, Kanto and the Kansai area is a, a construction of the bus house building. But Stephanie know more about this matter. So uh, as for the hot springs, 
I believe they are almost the same everywhere、uh, in the Japan. Please, uh, Stephanie. Uh, Stephanie. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So, I've been to more than 1,000 buses around Japan. And、uh, yeah,、uh, so first、uh, for the construction, so I introduced in my presentation some Miyazukuri, for example. So, you can、uh, almost only、uh, saw Miyazukuri in the Kanto area. But in each area, you have a bit different side of cons-、uh, like uh, form of constrictions. And also, when you go、uh, like from Nagoya, approximately, the bus is、uh, most of the time at the center of the bathroom. So you can find、uh, some oval shape or round shape、uh, bathtub、uh, just in the middle of the bathroom. And、uh, all the shower、uh, booth around it. And it's pretty like Kansai style. So in Tokyo we have, but it's uh, pretty uh, rare. So I don't know, in Tokyo now we, had more than five, we have more than 500、uh, baths, and maybe four or five of、uh, this kind of、uh, round、uh, bathroom. And also、uh, I talk about the art. So in each、uh, area of Japan, you will. See the art of、uh, the, the local area. Yeah, so Fujisan is more, you can see Fujisan most of the time from the place you can see it in reality. So Kanto most of the time.、Yeah. That's so yeah. interesting. Thank you for sharing about the regional differences.、Um, Stephanie,、um, This is a question that we received many variations of.、Uh, you mentioned this in your talk, but could you el- elaborate a little bit about who usually goes to Sento? Is it friends, family? Is there a typical age group? And,、um, you know, you, again, you talk about this, but the popularity of onsen and Sento among the younger generation. And what are the kinds of things that your Sento Association or Sento owners are doing to cultivate the next generation? What do you see in the future of Sento? So, I've noticed a big change of the people going to Sento、uh, recently. And、uh, if I compare to, I don't know, when I was going 10 years before,、um, when I was going 10 years before, I met.、Uh, Only barely, like quite、um, old people going there, like on a daily basis. So, those people were going when they were、uh, a child and they continue to go. And、uh, especially the, the elderly people who live alone, for them, it's uh, like um, communication time going to Sento. But、uh, recently, I see many families and very young people also. When I'm working、uh, at the center,、uh, I have、uh, every week like some、uh, 10 years old girls that are coming together, three of them, just for chatting after the school. And I think it's so nice. And also, I have some people from university that they come、um, in a group, two or three people, just to talk after,、um, after the class. And、uh, myself, also, I'm going with my friends. And sometimes, also, I, I need to go alone. So, yesterday, I, I went、uh, alone just because I needed my time and take it slow. You just, it's just like a cooking time. So, I think now,、uh, because it's becoming a, life, a part of the lifestyle and、uh, self maintenance, but Uh, also, detox time. I think many people、uh, are going, it's not something about、uh, the age. So, it's very good、uh, news, I think. And uh, so, uh, for the,、um, the owner, for example,、uh, because Sento is、uh, just before you paid for inter- enter in the hot bath, you didn't have some shampoo and soap in the Sento. Uh, it was in the super center, but not in, in the center. But now,、um, almost 90% of the center of Tokyo are、uh, giving some free soap and the shampoo. So it's a good service because that the owners、uh, they buy for us. And also, you can go without nothing, you can rent a towel or.、Uh, Yeah,、uh, so it's a good service also, I think, because you can go anytime, anywhere. <laughs> And、uh, they are doing many events in the center, like 
sometimes when they do uh, the renewal of the mural, uh, we can assist to this sometimes. So I think it's a very good opportunity. And I made also some talk in some Cento, and they're also doing PR now. So before uh, they didn't, uh, like it was not necessary to, to do the PR because uh, the people have to go every day to, to, to maintain the, the like uh, the, the hygiene of the body. But now it's not the same. So it's more for lifestyle and comfort. So um, recently in the Tokyo Metro, I can see some uh, poster of uh, Tokyo Bus House. And they also do many collaboration events with uh, fashion brands and uh, yeah, many stuff. So I think now it's amazing how the center world is moving. Yeah. Right. That's really interesting. And, and that's what you talked about is that it is this lifestyle function that is really um, sort of underutilized or underappreciated. So that's great that um, people are taking advantage of that now. Um, so uh, next, a question for Dr. Hayasaka. And I think we got this in the chat, too. And um, I had a friend in Japan who told me that after he goes to onsen, he drinks milk. And so I sort of asked him, really? And he looked at me in the eye and he said, every single time. And so I got the idea that this is a somewhat serious tradition, even though he was joking a little bit. So is it good to drink milk after taking a bath? And um, sort of secondarily to that, I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about onsen cuisine in Bapu Onsen in Oita, you can cook food over a hot spring. And Hakone has onsen egg flavored ice cream. So is there anything special about cooking food with onsen? Thank you. Hi, it's a little bit of 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 a little bit so first, um, I'm going to answer in Japanese, but uh, milk is very rich in protein. So it's uh, he very helpful to recover from dehydration much faster than water. And uh, I, I did mention this in my talk as well, but uh, just taking a single bath would result in losing about 800 milliliters of water. なので、えっと、あの、牛乳飲むことはとても理にかなっていうことですし、あとは私たちが飲むのは麦茶を飲んだり、まあ、あとは普通にお水を飲むこともあります。And あと、and in terms of onsen cuisine, um, yes, as you already uh, mentioned, one style, the most popular would probably be using the steam rising from the water to steam one's food. えっと、温泉には え、この温泉の湯気で蒸すととても美味しく、少し塩味を感じるような形で蒸し上がります。So and um as I mentioned, many of these onsen uh if not all contain a lot of minerals and the saline content is very it's very saline water as well. So it cooks very deliciously and um perhaps a little salty for some. あの、大分のベップ温泉などでは、例えばエビだとかイカだとか野菜だとかをあの、1分とか2分蒸すことによって食べるという料理がたくさんあります。And in Oita at Beppu uh, onsen, you often find people cooking or steaming shrimp, squid, even a, a, a vegetables for only a few minutes and it's already ready to eat. はい、以上です。That's it. Wow, that's amazing. It cooks so quickly, probably because it's so hot. I this, ne? That's all this. Okay, so Stephanie, uh, this was probably our number one question. Um, and I thought that I knew the answer, 
but could you tell us about Cento tattoo policy? And are there any other common misconceptions about Cento? So um, Cento are almost all like 99% okay with the tattoo. So it's a good news because I have also the question like every week on my uh, Instagram. So many people just misunderstand the Cento and the Super Cento. So Super Cento are uh, like pri private uh, company and uh, most of the time uh, they forbid people with tattoo. But Cento, you will recognize uh, the Cento with the price because it's a decided price, as I said, and it's uh, cheaper than the Super Cento. And uh, most of them are, are okay with the, the tattoo. It's pretty rare that some uh, like are, are not okay with that. I think I mentioned I went to more than 1,000. I think I met four of them, something like that. They were like not very okay with that, but uh, it's usually written uh, at the entrance or uh, the people will let you know. But as a foreigner, it's not like, um, it's not so, uh, they are not so strict than Super Cento. So yeah, so go if you want. And many people also uh, tell, yeah, but I have not a tiny tattoo. I have the like a big one. It's OK. Uh, in the place I'm working also, uh, some people, even Japanese people, have big uh, tattoo. And uh, it, it's OK. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of people will be really happy to hear that answer. Yeah. And um, Forgive me for stepping over you, but you said that the reason for this is that Cento is considered a public health service. And so, you know, this is supposed to be available for everyone yeah. um, if they don't have a bath. And so it, it wouldn't be right to turn people away. Yeah, so yes. I just wanted to add that because I thought people might- Cento are not them. doing discrimination. That's why, no discrimination with tattoo and uh, yeah, they, they won't only refuse people with uh, like some disease that can transmit to another person in the past. Yeah, it's uh, like mm -hmm. a pure reason. And um, that's all I think, yeah. That makes <laughs> sense. Thank you. Okay, so Dr. Hayasaka, our next question is for you and it's quite long. Uh, we received many questions about um, whether Ofuro style bathing can help with particular medical conditions, for example, acne and wrinkles, effect on healthy skin bacteria, headaches and migraines, high blood pressure, heart disease, and endometriosis. And also, we have this question a couple of times too. Is there such a thing as too many baths? はい、えっと、すいません、また日本語で答えます。えっと、お風呂は、あ、まあ、皮膚をきれいにするので、例えばあの、ニキビや、え、そういったものの皮膚の病気にはとてもいいです。So, uh, first in terms of acne, of course, bathing cleans cleanses one's skin. So, it's very good for uh, many skin conditions. えっと、皮膚の表面の細菌を一時的にきれいにしてくれますので、え、あの、ニキビにはとても効果があります。あの、時々あの、常在細菌ですかね。あの、皮膚の常在細菌を気にされる方がいますけども、1、2時間で元に戻ると言われてますので、あまり心配しなくて大丈夫です。And of course, uh, part of why it's good for acne is that it washes away all of the um, pathogenic or disease-causing bacteria on one's skin. Um, I know that uh, you, like you mentioned in the question, some people may be worried about the commensal or good uh, sym symbiotic bacteria, but research has shown that, that those uh, colonies re re um, return only an hour or two after one bathes, so you don't need to worry too much about that. え、コラーゲンができることによって、まあ、防げると言われてます。よく日本では毎日お風呂に入ってる女優さんは皮膚が綺麗だというふうに言われてます。So, in terms of uh, sunspots and wrinkles, um, bathing improves blood flow, so it helps uh, produce uh, helps with the production of collagen and that will prevent or remove wrinkles. In fact, 
Um, one often comments that those who bathe every day、uh, have smoother skin. えっと、あとは頭痛なんですけれども、頭痛は、えっと、2つ、まあ、あるんですが、1つは肩こりとかに来るような、まあえー、筋緊張性頭痛については、お風呂はとても効果的です。So, in terms of headaches,、um, there are two, and it would be divided up in two main types. In terms of headaches caused by, for example, very tense shoulders, the bath is very helpful. えっと、あのお湯の温かさが、えっと、筋肉の緊張をほぐしてくれるから頭痛も改善します。The heat, the, water, muscles, removes, um, the, uh, ただ気をつけていただきたいのは、片頭痛、えー、ミグレインですかね、ミグレインヘッドエイク、片頭痛については、えー、お風呂に入りますと、血管が広がるために余計頭痛が悪くなります。Um, but however, in terms of migraines,、uh, because of the increased blood flow due to dilation of the blood vessels, a migraine, the migraine、um, might get worse. えっと、白動性、ズキンズキンとするような、えっと、頭痛の時にはお風呂に入らないでください。Therefore, if you're experiencing particularly sharp headache, I would not recommend taking an o f u r o えっと、それから、高血圧に関してなんですけども、私たちが以前行った2000人以上の調査によりますと、入浴する前に、上の血圧ですね、収縮血圧が160以上、または拡張皮血圧が100以上の時にお風呂に入りますと、さまざまなアクシデントが起こることが分かっています。And in terms of those who suffer from high blood pressure, I will say that in a previous survey that we、um, uh, conducted, Of over 2,000 people, we found that those who have a systolic or upper number of 160 or those with the diastolic or lower number of 100 millimeters of, hydro,、uh, of mercury, when they took an, when they steeped in ofuro,、uh, various accidents would happen. So, again, it would not be recommended. えー、水位で入ってください。And for those who suffer from heart disease,、uh, it is recommended that you only、uh, soak up to your、uh, abdomen and not all the way up to your shoulders. えっと、あと最後の質問、えっと、子宮内膜症ですかね、婦人科の病気についても多分効果があると思いますが、あまりたくさんエビデンスはまだ出ていません。And finally, for、uh, endometriosis or other gynecological conditions, I suspect that there is probably beneficial effect, but unfortunately, there has not been much research or scientific evidence、uh, to this date. And finally, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I'm going to go to the n e x Taking too many baths.、Uh, as I mentioned, Japanese people take、uh, furo every day. So,、um, in fact, some people say that if they go a day without soaking in the furo, that they,、uh, feel, um, they, they, they don't feel、um, less fatigued, like they, their fatigue actually remains. So, I don't think there is such a thing. That's all. Great. Thank you. So much information. I hope that、um, everyone feels like they're. Question was answered. Okay, so the next question is for both of you that we received a lot of.、Um, many people asked whether you are able to compare Japanese bathing culture with other bath cultures from other countries, such as Korea, China, Turkey, and Russia, or even Rome a long time ago.、Um, so please go ahead and, and let us know. Uh, from Stephanie or from、oh. Dr. Hezaka? Go ahead, Stephanie.、Oh. So、um, I can only talk about、uh, Korea and Taiwan. I went to visit both countries and I went to Sento there. So in Korea, you can find a lot, and it was very similar to, to the Japanese one. So you have also the Super Sento, like.、Uh, Entertainment bathroom, but also the local center there. And for Taiwan, there is an area in Taipei 
and I don't remember exactly the name, but I, I went to a very, very old uh, bath houses and uh, it was even in Japanese. So I was wondering it uh, because of the like uh, Japanese influence. It was there or, or no, but I went there and it was quite nice, very like uh, community like uh, bath houses. And except that um, only compared to my own culture, so in France, and I know we have a completely different um, like way to take the bus. First, um, most of the time we take alone or with uh, husband, wife, but I never took bus with my parents. For example, my mother was putting me on the bus tub and washing my body from the outside. So I don't have any memory of bathing with my parents. I think it's uh, not so common to bath as a family. And also uh, because uh, the price is very expensive in France compared to Japan for the water. Um, the water. So we, we almost can't take every day. It will be like a luxury to take every day. And uh, we cannot reuse the water like in Japan, you know, you enter uh, clean in the bathtub and you can uh, warm it again as uh, Ayasaka sensei explained. So we don't have uh, this system. So yes, in comparison, uh, yeah, I think we can, it's pretty rare to enter every day in the bath. I was loving it also in France and enjoying it several times uh, a week, but definitely in Japan is like uh, daily daily basis going to send or um, the bus in the house, yeah. Ayasaka <laughs> sensei wa hoka no kuni no New York bunka ni no kan shite nanka nobete itadakemasu ka? Jaa skoshi dake, eh to, eh, tabun jitaku de yugune o motte ru doko wa suku nai in janai ka na to moi mashite. Ima, ano, hana shi ni atta, eh, kanko ya Taiwan wa, ano, soto de hai ru koto aru de shou kedomo, jitaku de, ano, nihon no yoni yugune o motte ru doko wa suku nai in janai ka na to moi mashite no de, えそこは多分ちょっと違うと思って、おそらく日本だけだと思ってます。I uh, must say I have limited experience, but uh, my understanding is that while um, Korea and Taiwan they go out to a bathhouse, just like Stephanie just explained, I don't think they have the type of bathtub or bath bathing room architecture structure that they do in Japan. Japan, I think um, in that sense, the structure of a Japanese bathing room and bathtub is quite unique um, just to Japan. I understand. Thank you so much for both of your answers. I would like to invite uh, everyone watching, if you know a little bit about bathing culture in other countries, please share in the comments if you have any expertise. Um, we, all of us here would, would love to know as well. Um, so the next question is for Dr. Hayasaka. Um, many people asked about the validity of some health claims that, that onsen advertise on signs in front of the baths. And you did tell us that uh, many of the minerals found in onsen can help with our skin and heat retention. Could you talk also about the validity of other specialty bathing methods such as denki kudo? which seems to be baths with electricity in them, or the practice of jumping from a really, really hot bath into a frigid, cold bath. Um, are there, is there any medical research on these? So, the importance of the the あの、はしごする習慣に関しても触れていただけますかはい、わかりました。えっと、電気お風呂、電気風呂については、ほとんど医学的な研究がありません。えっと、多くの銭湯で見ることがあるんですけれども、あの、あまりきちんとした研究が
Um, they are meant to be used for only one to two minutes of soaking. Um, we do have anecdotal reports uh, that people who have soaked in them longer than that have had various adverse uh, or side effects. Hi. え、なのであの、ま、適度に使うことが大事だと思いますが、あの、電気を体に当てて、え、それで筋肉の痛みを取るという、ま、ものになると思います。Um so possibly um, reducing the stiffness in one shoulder or back. はい、あとはあの、冷たい水風呂に入ることですよね。これ多分英語でコントラストウォーターというふうに呼んでると思うんですけども、あ、えっとコントラストバスかな。コントラストバスはコントラストウォーター、ウォーターバスというふうに呼
go ahead. Yeah, for example, I think it could be a good thing to explain what is uh, the typically the typically day of uh, a Cento uh, owner from uh, the moment he wake up until uh, he, he will go to sleep. So I, I saw by myself and interviewed uh, many Cento owners because I, I wanted to know um, about their, their, their daily life. So I will let you know. So usually they wake up at 11 in the morning, sometimes uh, at noon, and uh, they started to uh, prepare the bath. Uh, so uh, for example, fill up the bathtub or uh, warm up the water and do the last cleaning. And uh, they will have the breakfast uh, break. And uh, most of um, all the centers are opening, I mean, it's an average, from 3 p.m. to midnight. So they will open the center at 3 and sit there. And uh, some center in the countryside, uh, only one people in running it. So you have to stay like all the time uh, at the front desk until the, the it's closed. And at the same time, you have to check the gas or uh, the wood, if it's uh, one by wood, so doing many things at the same time. And uh, if it's like family, they will uh, change every two, three, four hours, uh, like um, at the front desk. And uh, so they do the front until something like midnight. And some of the owner will uh, go to take their bath after the closing. And some will start with the cleaning. So the cleaning is take a, a long time. Uh, most of the owner like clean the bathroom. So both male and female bathroom um, after the closing until three or four uh, AM in the morning. And after that, they will have um, like dinner time, sort of. <laughs> and they will have their relaxed time. So watching the TV and uh, have a beer and, uh, and they go to sleep at five or six in the morning. And again, they wake up at 11 and do the same things every day. So I think it's a very hard uh, work to do. And uh, all the time I admire them. And most of the people don't don't see the this, the iron part of the central work. So yes. <laughs> yes, thank you for sharing that. That's such a fascinating life because it's sort of staggered. You know, most people are waking up really early in the morning, and their day is just so shifted. And but they're working hard all of those hours. So thank you. Uh, we're gonna have two more questions, and then and then we'll we'll wrap it up. But. Um, this next question is for both of you. Um, could you talk a little bit about the environment and the ecological significance of Sento and Onsen? Um, you know, where the water, where's the water coming from? And から で、so um, in terms of, I, I can answer the part about the onsen, but uh, most onsen uh, or many onsen uh, draw their water from a volcanic area from deep beneath the earth. And so, I mean, you can't get more natural energy than that. Um, it's not man-made at all. 
So it is very ecologically friendly. In addition, there are some areas that actually use the, the heat from the natural onsen uh, to generate electricity. So that's kind of the um, two birds with one stone from an energy point. Uh, in terms of where the used onsen water goes, because of the high mineral content that man many of these onsen water have, they tend to, um, they need to be neutralized. The minerals need to be neutralized or removed before they, they can be um, sent into the a public water source or a river, say. And um, otherwise, um, however, there is a small certain amount that it, um, it results from overflow uh, that is um, kind of goes back without having been used or dirtied. Stephanie? So uh, for Sento, uh, most of the Sento are also using underground water. So um, it's also eco. Uh, just uh, a little part of them are, are using tap water, maybe because they can uh, draw because it's taking a lot of money to draw underground first. Um, and for the eco part, I would say is that uh, is, if everybody share the same bathtub, it will be more ecological than 200 person uh, doing their own bath at home. So I think it's uh, eco sharing on that part. But I don't know for the, the water wh where it's going, like Ayasaka Sensei there for the onsen. So I'm sorry because I cannot reply to this part of the question. So nothing more to add. Uh, in the hopes that CGP rejoins us again, um, I would like to take a minute just to give you some conversions. Uh, earlier when Dr. Hayasaka mentioned that one will lose about 800 milliliters of water in sweat um, while bathing, that works out to about three and a half cups. Also, um, it, no, a lot of times the going from hot bath to cold bath is water, um, if you go into water that is less than 68 degrees Fahrenheit, that may not be good for those of you who are not used to it. So the recommendation is to try um, water that is about 86 degrees with the given that the hot bath is uh, higher than that. So those are some numbers for you. And it looks like we still don't have CGP. So, um, え、お二人に答えていただけますでしょうか。えっと、ステファニーさんは、え、掘削してお湯を引き上げるスーパーセントも存在しますと言わ、言われましたけど、このあの、お湯に関してはえっと、早坂先生から答えていただけますか。はい。えっと、まず So, uh the question is um you know, in, in Stephanie's talk, uh, she mentioned that many Sento source their water from true hot springs and uh, some super Sento are developed by drilling. Do they scientifically differ from true hot springs? And can you also tell us whether uh, Sento heated by wood fires are better or worse than um, natural, uh, those who draw their water from natural hot springs? Um, so super Sento were, uh, are pretty fairly recent phenomenon. They were built uh, or started mainly in the 1980s and many of them are located in um, big cities. So therefore a lot of them must drill quite deep over a thousand meters uh, into the ground in order to pull up their hot water. あの、え、それに従って温泉ということでミネラル分を含んで温泉ということであれば、あの温泉ということであの変わらないということになります。効果は十分にあるというふうに考えますね。So, um because the, the term onsen especially in a stop bathing establishment is regulated and defined um legally by law, 
the onsen water must contain minerals. So in that sense, uh, those that result from drilling deep underground are no different and I believe have the same exact effect as if they drew similar water from a、um, source that is already present at ground level. あの日本は火山国なのであのほとんどにすべてのですね場所で温泉が掘ることができます。And because、uh, Japan, the entire country of Japan lies in, in a volcanic zone,、um, it is very easy to drill anywhere and reach、um, some sort of geothermal or volcanic source、uh, water. はい、以上です。That's it. Stephanie? Yes, and I would like to add so, same for onsen, sento, super sento. So sometimes you can find, not, not sometimes,、uh, if the sento is、uh, declared, if they did like a research on the water, you will have、uh, a paper、uh, with all the percentage of all minerals. So it will be all in Japanese, so not easy to understand. But if you find like a, a paper with many、uh, percentage and、uh, it will be like the onsen certification. So, in addition, and、uh, the second、uh, part of the question、uh, for the, the warm, uh, the maki,、um, maki,、uh, how do you say in English?、Sorry. The wood fire. Yeah, wood <laughs> fire. So,、um, it's not scientific, but、uh, according to the Sento owner,、um, Uh, thanks to the wood, to warm the bath with the wood, it would,、uh, the, the water would be softer for the skin. So,、uh, for example,、uh, it happens sometimes I enter、um, a hot bath and I feel it's very hot because sometimes when it's、uh, warm by wood, it could be like、uh, 43 or 44 degrees. But it's not an aggressive,、um, you don't feel it aggressive, hot. It's,、uh, it's very smooth, I think. So, but it's not scientific, it's just、uh, a sensation, I think. <laughs> And also,、uh, the second、um, part of the, the, the second reason of,、uh, of the owner using the wood for warm the water is economical. Because gas will take some money, and uh, for uh, the, the wood is、uh, re recycling. So, as you know, in Japan, almost all the buildings are built with、uh, wood structure, so small buildings and houses. And when they destroy it,、uh, the wood is reused to warm the water of the Sento. Hi, Saka Sensu, Naka Tsuika Sareru Koto Arimas, the Shoka. はいあのー、確かに科学的な根拠はまあないのかも分かりませんけども、あのー、おっしゃる通りで、えー、と薪をで沸かしたお湯というのは温かいというかあの肌に優しいという話は聞きますよね、まあ、もしかしたら昔々の、あのー、お風呂ではです、ねえー、直接火を、えー、バスタブの下から炊くいわゆる五右衛門風呂というものがあったんですがそれだと実際に湯船そのものも熱くなるので。もしかしたらそういう頃のなんていうか、えー、記憶というかですねそういうものもあるのかもしれませんね。So、um, unfortunately、uh, there is no scientific evidence for this.、Uh, it's definitely、uh, anecdotal only. But certainly it does seem that the water heated by wood fire is hotter and yet at the same time gentler on the skin. Now also there is something、uh, called the Goemon、uh, Buro. Which、um, was essentially a bathtub or tub like structure that was directly heated. The water was directly heated with、uh, lighting a fire underneath it. So perhaps there is some historical、um, evolution or significance to、uh, Furo water being heated by,、um, by using wood fire. Wow, this is all so interesting.、It's I, thank you so much for taking the time to answer so many questions. Unfortunately, we are over time and we don't have time for, for more questions, but we really have appreciated reading all of them.、Um, it's been a great joy for us. So, if you have any lingering questions,、um, please add them to the questionnaire. You can find the questionnaire in the link, of, in the, the link to the questionnaire in the YouTube description. And、um, for questions, we will be trying to. Reply back to you individually if we can.、Um, and with the questionnaire,、uh, we'd like to kindly ask you to fill out the questionnaire、um, 
as anyone who's attended a Japan Foundation CGP event knows, we love our questionnaires. Um, they're very important for us and they allow us to continue making programming like this. So, um, so please take the brief two minutes to let us know what you think. It, it's very valuable for us. Um, one note that I would like to make is that this event is intended to educate about Sento and onsen culture. And because of the ongoing global pandemic, we do not encourage traveling to try public bathhouses at the moment. So to close, I would like to sincerely thank our guest speakers, Dr. Hayasaka and Stephanie, and our interpreter, Dr. Mari Morimoto. It has been such a pleasure to work with all of you, and um, I hope that we can come by when it is safe. And um, I appreciate your hard work. Thank you. Thank you. And then one last thing is to uh, thank you to all my teammates at Japan Foundation CGP for patiently practicing with me as I learned to navigate Zoom and YouTube. And thank you everyone for tuning in and your patience. And, you know, this couldn't have happened without each and every one of you. So thank you so much for, for joining us. We look forward to hearing your, your comments in the questionnaire. <laughs>